We have to start again. Oh, you know, everything to make her more nervous. <laughs> My father came to your house to beat the fridge. And what was your name? My name is Marcela. Okay. And what do you do for a living? Well, actually I'm studying and I live with my father. <laughs> so what are you studying? I'm studying English. Yeah? Oui. <laughs> Nothing. Your English is pretty good, actually, so you don't have to worry about that. Okay, thank you. I don't think so, but thank you. <laughs> so why are you here today? Because I'm teaching you Spanish. Well, I'm trying to teach you. <laughs> it's pretty impossible, isn't it? Yeah, it's very difficult to teach Spanish. <laughs> to me. <laughs> <laughs> okay, um, what else? Do you have any idea? Mm, I don't know. Ask, ask her about the about her personal experience, where how she traveled. Um, oh, yeah, yeah, good idea. Things like that. <laughs> okay, mm -hmm. so what's your personal experience where you have traveled and things <laughs> like that? Well, I haven't traveled too much. I just have been in Cartagena. Do you know Cartagena? Mm -hmm. Okay. And Santa Marta. But I have never been in another country. No. no. You've been to Medellin? Yeah. Bogota? No. No? In Bogota. Wow. Yeah, I don't know the <laughs> Bogota. And where do you live? I live in Tevaida. It's a town. In where? Tevaida. Tevaida? Tevaida, yeah. Yeah. Is it far? No, it's a small town, but it's not a problem. <laughs> so why is it? Is it famous for anything? No, I don't think so. Nothing? Mm, like a no. festival? Or a church? Or it was very famous before the earthquake, but now there is not much thing there. No, it's not touristic first or anything like that. So what do people do there? Just live. <laughs> Survive. <laughs> Survive. <laughs> yeah, there's nothing to do? No. You have a local like uh, container city? No. Any view of stores? Well, obviously there are, but there are, they are not big stores so or yeah. many things, or like a mall or yeah. something like that. No. So it sounds nice, actually. Well, I, I don't see things. <laughs> so if you could, if you could move, would you move? Yeah. Where would you move? I don't know. Well, I would like to travel and I, I don't know if I will stay in a specific place. I don't know. Well, let's say if you moved, if you could move somewhere in Colombia, but you were going to be there for five years, where would you go? Well, I don't like big cities. So, I think that Armenia is a good place to live and I'm okay here, I would like to live here in Armenia, no in Tavaida because it is a town, there is nothing <laughs> what to do, Yeah. that's the thing. Yeah. <laughs> um, so if you could travel, where would be the first place you could go, you would want to go? Mm, well, I would like to go to United States because I study English. I think that it will be a good idea for me and to learn very much 
So I think that I will travel to the United States, but I would like to to go to Asia, to some country like to visit your relatives because you're part Chinese. <laughs> Well, no. People say that, but I'm not Chinese or I don't have any relative Chinese. No. no. What you, and you said that my accent is Japanese? Uh, Chinese. <laughs> Chinese. Yeah. But no. no. Well, what about Australia or England? They speak English. <clears throat> well, yeah, but I haven't seen any video about the places oh. those places sorry so i don't know see if i would like to go there first i have to investigate about those places to can go you don't just get on an airplane and go no i don't think so <laughs> okay um what else I don't. <laughs> I don't. So what else? Mm. Okay, now go sit with her. Together. With her. Yes. <laughs> I thought you were going to stand up and leave me alone. I was like, no. Chitipi now. Wait and see you later. Okay, so now we have another guest. <laughs> What's your name? My name is Valentina. And you speak English. Yeah, speak English. Maybe the only two people in Armenia <laughs> speak English. Um, no, I don't think so, but it's true that here in Colombia it's very difficult to find people that speak English. Mm -hmm. So both of you, why did you decide to learn English? Well, I think that learn a new language can be opportunity to get a job, a good job in Colombia? Um, for me it's because I have always loved uh, languages and I was like in this um, puzzle that I didn't know what to do with my life and I just said <laughs> well that's what I love, <laughs> that would be a good idea so go for and it. yeah. So it's English and you're also now you're taking French. French. Anything else? Um, no. Well, you, Spanish, Spanish, of course. Yeah, of course, of course. So, what's your dream? Her dream is to travel. My dream? My dream, I will say, is like kind of the same. I would like to have a good job and to visit a lot of places. Um, I just want uh, that day that I just feel like I'm... Um, living the life I want, that I'm happy with the things I have and that I'm able to make what I want. I don't want to be working in some job that I don't really enjoy. So that would be like my nightmare. Yeah. Have you ever had a job before? I don't. Mm, no. Just school and university? Yeah. yeah. This is my first job. <laughs> Teaching in Spanish. <laughs> so say goodbye. Goodbye. Bye. Bye. <laughs>